hello. How's it going? So, um, OBS decided to update itself, hence the slightly delayed uh, start. Um, so I will continue, I think, pushing the designs for this IP. Um, what I'll do is actually I'll um, I'll continue designing on this one, but what I'll do is I'll make a new layer and I'll design on top of it so that. I want to make her, this feels more like she's dressed down um, in the sense of, I mean, uh, she's quite red everywhere as well, which is kind of, I don't like it that this, she's so thematic. Um, I kind of like the red at the torso, but I think uh, the red legs need to change. Anyways, uh, I'll give her like a... Um, uh, jacket or a hoodie of sorts like I want her to feel stealth like that she's uh, like road worthy uh, type thing we'll see we'll see Egria Amir Zelin Queen Mila Tormod oh yeah throw those gang signs oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah so without further ado I gotta start because I was a little bit delayed. And uh, I think Mila might have some cool news. Um, I don't know if she wants to proclaim it, if she doesn't want to jinx it. So I'll leave that to her. Um, but, uh, you know. Cool stuff, yo. Hey, Kirill. How's it going? Yeah. So what I want to do here is like I want to design something that will indicate she's a rogue. Cool, Mila. All right. Hey, Konma. Welcome. Welcome back. Welcome back. Ixi, Ixi. How's it going? How's it going? And so, to time time to the time to design uh, her outerwear, kinda uh, like her jacket of sorts. Yeah, me. I don't want to like like I said. I don't want to jinx anything for her. Uh, she shared some cool news with me, uh, career-wise, um, just before the stream. She just her had the news news herself, but all in due time, uh, all in due time. So let Mila announce it when she's ready. But it's a good good news for her career, which is awesome. Um, that's the benefits of working hard, I guess. Hey, Payantonto, what's up? What's up? What's up? Tormod, good morning. Yeah, so let's uh, let's wait for her to sign the contract for her new deal, um, and then then she can come on, on stream and share the good news. Hey, Belifin, Quentin. And Wanamir. Yeah, it's good stuff though for Mila. Um, for her, um, I'm just gonna not gonna con continue pushing it because she can't say anything yet. But it's one of those um, milestone achievements kind of deals, you know. So it's good stuff for her. Ah, there it is. 
that's one good thing about having a character on a separate layer. You can just select it and erase whatever you need to erase. Hey, Henrik West, how's it going? Oh, God damn it, that coffee is hot. Yeah, so like I said, I'm going to be designing characters for this IP. Um, not sure if I should spill the beans on the IP in like minute details, but it's a cool idea. It's original, originated from um, a dream I had. I mentioned this before, where I was this girl with a machete, like running around a uh, camp camping uh, grounds uh, like trailer park type deal and just macheteing zombies <laughs> but it, like it was the first real dream I had where a big point of the dream was a physical difference you know usually when you're dreaming you don't have a physicality right you are in the dream or you you act in the dream uh, but in this, there was a huge, like, the dream wanted to point out that I wasn't me anymore. I was this, this girl that, like a young, fragile girl that was just macheteing people. <laughs> for some reason, my brain needed to point that out. Hey, Cold Burger Art, thanks for the auto host, even though you're not here. Hey, Daybird, how's it going? How's it going? Yeah, Mila had a milestone. She's now level level uh level 30, 32. Yeah, the dream was uh the dream was crazy. And um uh, I woke up like going, "Whoa. That was uh that's a bit bit weird." Um it was like I was sneaking around, ninjaing around, and then I could hear like zombies s scuffling about in trailers, and um, and I kind of just jumped in and massacred them with this these this kind of shitty machete. Um, so it it, it kind of struck a chord in me, like the idea of a like a teenager, like a fifteen year old something, or you know like. A, young girl I'm obviously a, I'm not a young girl um, and I had this dream many years ago by the way but anyway so the the idea like struck a chord with me you'll hear uh, this is not farting <laughs> this is drilling uh, neighbors are drill drilling uh, and it struck with me and I was like well that's pretty that's pretty uh, that's pretty cool like the the contrast of a little uh, little frame small frame um yeah i am i had beans for dinner yesterday <laughs> oh yeah that's the world record the length <laughs> hey boss how's it going good morning man hey poor mia fantastic good morning Welcome, welcome back. Glad to see you here. Hey, Marichi, how's it going? How's it going? So my neighbor is drilling, obviously. If you didn't understand, I was joking. Or they're actually not the neighbor neighbor, but they're, they're fixing something in the stairwell. Yesterday they were uh, using this, um, I don't know the English word for it, but it's this uh, drill that uh, hammers, you know, it's like the to remove concrete or, or rock and stuff. And it, well, yeah, I was sitting here like shaking and trying to work. Hendrik, that's a, that's a pretty cool one. I had a in in that sense I had a similar dream. Um, I I remember my dreams very vividly, and um, it's something I've practiced doing. 
Um, and I remember uh, one of my dreams being um, that in the, in the UK, where I used to live, I um, I was walking like home from work or whatever, and um, all I I was living very close to the seafront, uh, so I had uh, uh, like a seafront apartment or sea seafront house. Uh, so when I was getting close to, close to the seafront, out of the ocean came this massive triangular uh, spaceship out of the ocean. But it wasn't triangular like a pyramid. It was just like the silhouette of it was a pyramid when you see saw it from the front. But from the side, it wasn't a pyramid. Um, a jackhammer. Yeah, there we go. And uh, and uh, it came out of the water, like, and it made this kind of sonic blast through the ocean. Shit, uh, through the ocean. <laughs> I'm wrecking the place. And uh, you could see the blast wave on the the ocean, like, and uh, you could see it coming through. And then uh, out of um, out of uh, the sea and stuff came uh, like robotic drones. Uh, these kind of robotic soldiers, and these uh, these robotic soldiers were hunting the humans, uh, me, uh, but they didn't use guns. They used sonic weapons, and those sonic weapons paralyzed you, like uh, put you in a state of. Um... If you ever been in a blast, a bomb blast, it's like a hugging, hugging feeling, uh, like it's a three sixty. Uh, like it surrounds you and and it moves you at the same time it's a really really weird feeling when you're in a bomb blast uh, but um yeah that feeling was from those sonic guns like it it encapsulated you into this uh, state like they they shot you and they were kind of running and they were really uh like they were like on stilts and so on and 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 the funniest thing is, is like when I woke up from the dream, um, I was 100% sure that it was true. Um, and that, and that why isn't the, this on the news? Like, why is no one talking about that we've been invaded by this, uh, this force? You know this alien, uh, this alien force, and that no one is is saying anything. And I was walking around for like a good week, like why, like not understanding, like why aren't we, like why isn't anyone talking about it? It was so weird, but it had this this sensation that it was it wasn't a dream, that it was true. But in in my recall of it, obviously it was a dream. Um, Yeah, it's not a nice feeling to be in a bomb blast. Yeah, and and the, the sensation was uh, like walking around, like why why is it, like I was so sure it would be on the news when I woke up. Like okay, oh shit, it's like okay, this is gonna be all over the news now, like alien uh, sonic attack or whatever. And I still see how that that pyramidical spaceship was designed I can see it clearly it had like a it had like you know where the third eye is but it was a cylinder um, and it was like a little bit more organic almost like um, one of those uh, uh, squids that lay nests in a, uh, in like a shell it had that kind of organic feel to it, but it was technology, obviously, and it kind of just kind of surfaced it, the sea and had a. It was really cool. Hendrik, yeah, um, you asked before, sorry, Hendrik, about how how I how I practice remembering the dreams. 
Um, well, first of all, you need to. Um, this is how I did it. Obviously, this is there's no real science behind it, but there's general like success rates in in how to do it. But what you got to do first is um, as soon as you wake up, you need to start remembering. Um, what you dreamt about, a, 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 like a flavor of it, like a some sort of memory of it. Is it, you know, like uh, just an emotion or just a scene or a taste or an emotion or a reaction or whatever? Just grab that one thing that, that comes out and um, tell someone, or write it down the first thing you do. I mean, obviously, if you if you live together with someone, uh, write it, uh, tell them, you know, like, oh, I had this dream about, I don't know what it was, but it was like a, I was hunted by something, you know. And 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 by consciously trying to recall that every day, uh, because we dream every day, we just don't remember it. And by, by trying to consciously recall that, you're going to get used to accessing that part of the brain. And, uh, and it's going to be easier and easier uh, to remember. Um, and what I, what I used to do, uh, I had this very advanced series of dreams that I, um, I just couldn't, I shouldn't forget. Uh, so I wrote them down, and I have recalled them, and I've re-told them a few times. So I, they are pretty well adjusted in my head. Um, but um, it's uh, it's hard to remember every single day. It's easy to forget, but with practice, it it can become really really easy. Um, this, uh, my apologies for the background drilling, by the way. Uh, it's annoying t even to me. Uh, Gria, yeah, those those dreams that are like, they they just hook on to you. You can't shake them. They are nice. Like, even though the the sad ones. For me, I, I kind of cherish them. I, I I enjoy the fact that they um, they impact me to that degree that they linger on, you know, because it becomes this kind of inception bridge, right, between between uh, whatever your brain is flushing through your through your uh, brain versus your uh, waking life uh, life right so, and uh, and it, for me i kind of like the idea of of um of it being bridged like it's a little bit lo like a handshake like ah nice like my dream state is affecting my my life uh, which is you know like a cool cool little uh, Inception moment. Hey, Captain Jetlag, how's it going? Good morning, good morning. Hey, chill, friend. Welcome. <laughs> Torbot, yeah. That could they easily be one of those dreams that uh, linger on. Hey, have a good breakfast. Yeah, so... Yeah, dreams for me are, are fantastic. I love dreams. I have so many funny dream moments I could talk about. Um, and even I have had dreams that gonna tell me that I'm gonna see something in the future, and when I do, uh, or when I did, the dreams stopped. Like the dreams were telling me specific 
locations. Like this is gonna happen at this specific place. Like I even saw maps and everything. And when I did, I was like, holy shit. It's true. <laughs> Oh, Mirichi, really? Uh, cool. I need to look into that then. So this character is not fro is not any fan art. It's an um, original character. Uh, but I'm trying to design uh, design for my own IP. I think um, I gotta make sure it goes somewhere. My my own IP. So uh, I'm gonna try now. Uh, in these warm-ups, if you don't, if you guys don't mind, uh, at least split the week's warm-ups with uh, some of this and some of uh, uh, your your guys' suggestion of what to draw. So somehow I want to create some a schedule uh, or at least uh, opportun op option to say, okay, now I'm gonna do this. Now I'm gonna let's do this. Hey, good morning, Tonku. Welcome, welcome, man. Captain Jetlag, no need to apologize. We are all, uh, we all are, we all are busy. We all live our own lives. Uh, so don't worry about it, man. I'm glad that you did join us, though. It's very nice. Very nice. So you guys don't hear this really loud drilling in the background that's good good for you I, I guess my sound gate is uh, is working then it's, co it's been constant throughout the stream hey white math what up yo <laughs> welcome nice to see you here man That's awesome, Chilstrand. M uh, do make sure to announce when you do, so we can have a little bit of a celebration. Tom Koo, yeah, yeah, it's my minions, they're here. Down there, drilling. They're like... Alright, that's good. I mean, that's good. Yeah, I've been streaming for uh, for quite some time now. Hmm. But I like I said uh, before, I haven't like aggressively pushed the channel. Like any marketing <laughs> except by daily posts like this is what I drew today um, I talked with the or not really I someone contacted me I don't want to mention anything uh, to ruin their surprise uh, but um, there was one person who contacted me to tell ask me I guess about what I thought about their plans and uh, there is like similar to what I'm doing on the discord you know like uh, <laughs> pay to win uh, pay to win uh, sketchbook uh, type deal I mean you know if you're a subscriber uh, I'll give you a sketchbook your specific, uh, your personal sketchbook, co sketchbook corner on the Discord, and I will give you extra attention um, in terms of feedback or motivation, whatever. And someone, um, like I said, contacted me the other day and said that uh, they have something like that planned, but probably in a bigger scale. It's, you know, it's cool for them. And I'm, I doubt that my, my me doing that, uh, like, oh, you get a sketchbook for being a sub, uh, is any any way unique to me. Uh, 
Um, oh, really? That's cool. Uh, yeah, there's a it's a teddy bear on the sword, like a little collectible, whatever. That's awesome, Gria. Well, I'm very happy that you made it. <laughs> yeah, Hefes, bro. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be your dad. Do your homework. <laughs> That's awesome, man. Two years. God damn it, that's crazy. That's props for you guys. Hefes, bro, yeah, it is, it is. Um, now that I'm finally kind of free of a lot of the responsibilities, uh, freelance and such, I'm still doing some freelance, uh, but it's gonna allow me now to have some more free time and I will start, uh, I will start now uh, starting from tonight, uh, if I don't get any, like, oh yeah, by the way, you got to do this type deal. I'm going to start work, uh, putting the character design lecture up and start def defining what, um, how I will do it and where and when, so on. But it's coming. I'm going to start now. Uh, I had this massive order of things to do the first uh, half uh, part of this year so I couldn't like I couldn't really do anything everyone wanted the piece of the Bjorn but now I'm I'm more or less free except one uh, one thing and that is not like a constant where I need to do it every day so now I'm actually like going to bed at midnight <laughs> for once moderately not too late you know and uh, now I will start now putting everything together uh, like making nice presentation and pre prepping everything for you guys and then I'll do um, then I'll do a character design lect uh, lecture live uh, but um, yeah, because the I'm thinking of doing it um, after the finals of uh, Unreal Tournament. So it's like in two weeks or so, right? Two weeks approximately will be the will be the announcement of who won Unreal Tournament. Yeah, yeah, yeah Merich, I don't have any bot. I don't have that function enabled. I should get a bot though. That's one of those things like where I haven't really paid any attention to my stream in the sense of like doing all sorts of things. But I kind of like organic growth of a channel. Like I, I improve a little bit here, improve a little bit there, and eventually it'll it'll be something, you know. <laughs> I don't like to have like the whole package done for me. Gria, yeah. Drawing unfortunately takes a lot of time and effort. I kind of like this ring on her arm. That one. So I'm going to try to design something now kind of similar I kind of like the way that looked so I'm gonna I'm gonna try to design some sort of ring system here because I, I like the way that looked Yeah, I, I saw Bit TV, BTTV. What is that? That's like another additional shell to your stream, right? 
if I'm not mistaken. It's like OBS, but it's all uh, like functionality, like FX and, 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 and stuff, right? BTTV. BTTV. I, I saw that and kind of bookmarked it um, a while back, but I'd, I have not spent any time researching what it actually is. But it, um, as far as I understood, it has lots of functions that, let's say, OBS doesn't have. Like it's some sort of additional shell you can use. Or can you only use BTTV or OBS? You can't have both? I'm not sure what's happening in terms of that BTTV, but... <laughs> GIF emotes, that's pretty cool. Yeah, but um, yeah, I think I'll I'll look into BTTV. I think that that'll be the next um, upgrade. Right. So let's say BTTV. Do you guys need that browser extension installed, or do I only need to install it, and you will just have the functionality of it? As far as I understand, as far as I recall. BTTV, if you want to use the function, you need that extension installed. Ah, oh, you need BTTV as well. Mm. Yeah, that's one of the drawbacks of, of doing too much with the stream like that. It's like, only hardcore people would you know, would install that. Not it's not generic enough. Uh, you know, who who has the energy to go hunt extensions and shit? It's so much easier if it's just uh, join in the morning with your coffee cup. You know, instead of fiddling with settings, and it's the downside of it. But I kind of like this coat. I like the additions. I think she is looking a lot less uniform. Um, it's too much red, though, in general. For a main character, I do dig her. I think she's cool. She has a nice feel to her. I think it's, it's about right in terms of impression you get from her. She's a little bit too uniform in the palette. I don't like it. I, I need to break it up a little bit. Oh, now they're doing stereo drilling. Fantastic. That's not annoying at all. Bineural drilling. Oh, fun. Thank you. Thank you, workers. I always wanted bineural drilling. <laughs> ASMR drilling. Yeah. It's ridiculous. I need to put on when I'm done warm up. I need to like put on some really loud music or something because this is ridiculous. Like two different tones one goes up, one goes down, and the it's good stuff and fantastic sound effects on my end, I must say. Okay, time's up. That's great, Captain Jetlag. My noise gate does all the cancelling out.
let's just, let's just try. Is your hair? Going crazy. Alright, I think the changes are cool. I like the changes to her. Uh, definitely gives her a little bit more roguelike, a little bit more less of a uniform. Um, yeah, I like it. I like it. You don't? Alright. Alright, that's good. Um, anyways, let's see who's online if we can. Uh, nope. Let's go in creative. Let's see. That looks kind of cool. Someone's making a bag. Manga, manga, manga. Bullshit. Ugh. There's me. Choo! Um, why is it all the same? Someone playing PUBG. Someone's making a game. Unreal 4, day 10. Uh, oh, there's that guy. He's doing charcoal. Alright, let's raid Silicon Bleach. He had kind of like, he was vaping all the time. Kind of weird guy, but... Anyways, he's doing a lot of traditional art, so let's go raid him. Uh, have a fantastic day. See you guys tomorrow. Love the support. Love that you show up every day. Fantastic. Bye, all. See you tomorrow.